Wondering what texts a guy might send you that actually say he's not into you? Want to know what you should text back to him in these instances to test whether or not he wants to progress things with you? I've got all that coming to you right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. Today, we're getting back to the texting habits of men and how you could potentially be wasting a lot of time on guys who are just stringing you along and with guys that have no intention of pursuing anything with you at all. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm not giving you this information to make you feel bad. Quite the opposite, in fact. I'm here to help you save loads of time on wishy-washy guys that aren't progressively pursuing you romantically. That way, you have time to focus on those guys that truly deserve your attention. Sound good? In fact, right now, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel to get weekly tips on attracting men and understanding male psychology. And please make sure to turn on all notifications so you know exactly when a new video is rolling out. Now, let's get right into these 12 texting signs he's not actually interested and what you can do to confirm it so you can move on to the next guy. The first sign is the lopsided conversation. Do you find yourself writing a heck of a lot more words than he's writing back to you? If so, he might not be invested in the conversation with you at all. If you feel like you're always the one initiating texts with him, or you feel like you have to revive a dead thread with him all the time, it might be time to cut this guy loose. So just stop texting him altogether. If you never hear from him again, you now have your confirmation that he just wasn't feeling things. The second the second sign is he never asks questions. Guys who are even remotely interested in you are going to do anything they can to get you to start talking about yourself more. Because A, it's getting you engaged, and B, it's a lot easier than talking about ourselves. If he never asks you any questions, then his interest, by definition, doesn't exist. Interested people ask questions, so just be honest with yourself about this one. Try this. Send them a text and just say, I think we should meet. If this guy doesn't text you back where or what time, he has no intention of moving things forward with you. The third sign is no effort at humor. When guys aren't interested in a girl, one thing we're really good at is putting absolutely zero effort into texting while still receiving that validation from you. If an older guy isn't interested, he's just not gonna text you back. But younger guys love these little games. If you just get a sense that this guy doesn't have a charming bone in his body, let that be a signal to you that you're getting the bare minimum from an uninterested guy. When we like a girl, our text will attempt to dazzle you. At the minimum, you'll at least be getting texts from us regularly. The fourth sign is he never texts right back. Sure, it's typical that we'd be busy when we receive your text, but if you're always waiting hours, if not days, to hear back from him, beware. When we like a girl, we do not want to keep her waiting too long because we don't want another guy stealing her attention. Also, if you notice a pattern that he's not apologizing for making you wait to hear back from him, he's not worth your time anymore. The fifth sign is he only texts when he's out. If you notice this trend, then you can safely say he's placed you in the afterthought category. I mean, if he can't text you while he's doing his laundry or on his way home from work, it simply says that you're not on his mind. You also wanna distinguish his interest from just being his booty call. Okay, so just because he wants to have sex with you does not mean that he wants anything more with you. Stop making excuses in your mind when he does this. Oh, he's just busy. Busy people make time to pursue you when they're interested in you. The sixth sign is the social media string along. Have you ever noticed a guy won't text you back, but you notice that he checked out your Instagram stories or liked a photo? Yeah, it doesn't mean he's interested, unfortunately. Guys do this because they like the attention you're giving them, but they have no interest in keeping up a text conversation with you. Why do they even bother, you ask? Well, when we're younger as guys, that ego stroke can be a powerful thing. Just being real with you. So in the future, if he gives you the bare minimum, 
cut him off. The seventh sign is he doesn't text in paragraphs. When guys like you, they can't help but text you a little bit more than they probably should. You're either going to see bulky paragraphs or rapid fire one line texts, depending on his style. Guys who aren't interested don't do this. They're literally at a loss for words. So you'll get maybe one to two word responses. There's nothing you can really text him in this situation to change this. Just take it for what it is. If his text texting game sucks in the beginning and you're seeing no effort, then this just isn't going anywhere, is it? The eighth sign is he builds sexual tension over connection. Ever notice a guy skip the pleasantries and the how you doings and jump right into how good you looked in your last Instagram post? Why is he doing this? Well, he's doing this because he has nothing to lose with you. So he can try and build and get sexual with you because he's not risking anything because he doesn't care. Guys who are interested in you will make a real attempt to get to know you first and at least make that investment because he sees value in making that connection with you. The ninth sign is he never gauges your comfort level. So guys who fire off sexually explicit texts, either if they've never met you before or they just met you and they're not interested in you, do not care about the impression that they're making on you when they do this. If he was even remotely interested in you, he would have some sense about the approach he's making and that these types of texts might be turning you off. But again, Again, since he has nothing to lose and he might get sex out of it, that's enough of a payoff for him. The tenth sign is he never wants to meet up. This one should seem fairly obvious, but I am still incredibly surprised when I talk to women about a guy even making an effort to see them. If he's always changing the subject about getting together with you, take that as an easy warning sign. If a guy was interested, of course he's going to want to hang out. At the end of the day, a guy is never too busy to hang out with a girl that he likes. The eleventh sign is you haven't met him yet. If you've been texting a guy or messaging with him online for weeks, even months, and you still haven't met him yet, it's time for a reality check. There are going to be men that you message with that even call you their girlfriend coming from another state or even another country. Just understand what this connection really is. It's nothing more than a conversation until you guys actually meet. If a guy makes the effort to meet you, then that's the way you're going to know that it's real. Otherwise, you never really know what it is. So please don't let the fantasy of that take over your life and prevent you from meeting other people in real life. The twelfth sign is his texts leave you dissatisfied. Texting is a feel-good activity that gets you guys fired up for the next time you're going to see each other. If you wish you were getting more out of your exchanges with him, then you may be texting with the wrong guy altogether. If you're not left feeling good, then that's your intuition telling you that there's something off with this guy. Always be making at least a little bit of progress in getting closer to meeting him so that your connection can be authenticated and strengthened in person. When it comes to just getting to know a guy, he should be making all the moves in the beginning. That means that he's initiating all texts and setting up all dates for at least the first month. That's how you're going to know that he's willing to make the effort to pursue you and this connection with him is real. So if you're dropping him texts all the time and you're wondering like where the heck is he or if he's sending you bland boring stuff to get you off of his case, just take that for what it is and simply move on to the next guy. And you'll know when you've got a winner in a guy because you'll consistently get peppered with attention from him and it's just going to feel good in your gut. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a like below. The seven stages how men fall in love is coming to you next week. So until then, delete those dissatisfying text threads and I'll see you guys next week.